Hi, welcome to Siva Labs. I'm happy to announce that I'm starting a new series called Spring Boot The Missing Guide. This is for the developers who want to understand how Spring Boot works behind the scenes. So what is Spring Boot? As you might know, Spring Boot is a framework built for building the Spring based applications easily. So as you see, Spring itself has a lot of uh, modules uh, supporting various use cases like uh, there is a Spring Core framework providing the dependency injection capabilities and then there is Spring Security and Spring Data modules talking to relational databases and non-relational databases like NoSQL databases and then there is Spring MVC for building web applications, Spring Batch. So like that there are plenty of modules and you have to configure a lot of things while you are using Spring directly. So it becomes difficult over the time because of the number of modules are expanding and all. So the Spring Boot team came up with this Spring Boot where it takes the approach of uh, con uh, convention over configuration so that it, it provides a sensible defaults and auto configure things so that it will be easier to work with spring based applications. But there are challenges uh, in learning Spring Boot. Why? Because Spring Boot is kind of a, a framework built on top of other frameworks. For example, consider uh, talking to a database. Uh, at the core, Java has JDBC to talk to the database. On top of it, most likely we might use some kind of a ORM framework like Hibernate. And then there is a Spring Data modules which even provides a higher level of abstraction on top of ORMs. And then Spring Boot is kind of a making it easy to configure and start using it. So if anybody is starting out using Spring Boot directly, without knowing anything about JDBC or ORM or Spring Data, it all kind of looks magic. They just add a starter and then they are able to query database and then do things without understanding how, how actually it works, what, what happens under the hood. So it is very easy to get started with Spring Boot because you can follow some official guides or a blog post saying that, okay, create a Spring Boot application, add this starter and add this piece of code. Yes, it starts working, but it is very hard to understand how things are working behind the scenes. That, that is one of the reason many people consider it's kind of a too much annotation based magic, but it's not really magic if you understand how things work behind the scenes. And one more thing is Spring Boot is kind of a really overwhelming for beginners because there are so many modules, so many starters and uh, at times uh, people have to jump onto a project which is already using Spring Boot and they don't know any uh, Java background or they haven't uh, used Spring in the past but they have to directly start with Spring Boot. It is really, really overwhelming for the beginners. And because of uh, many people um, who directly jump onto Spring Boot without having uh, much of uh, experience with Java and uh, Spring itself, it, it's like a, they are able to uh, work with it, they are able to make it work, but they don't really understand how it works. It is natural, of course, some people who came from different programming backgrounds, like uh, they might be working with JavaScript or Python or some other uh, languages, and then they join a new team who is using Java and Spring Boot and they have to roll with it, right? So it's like a, on the job, they have to learn how it works and it it's really difficult. So that is the reason I am creating uh, this course. So the main goal of this series is to explain Spring Boot in a beginner friendly way and most importantly there are already a wonderful amazing uh, courses on Spring Boot how to use Spring Boot and uh, building a lot of applications there are so many wonderful courses this course is aiming towards making the people understand how Spring Boot works not just how to use there are plenty of guides available online and which explains how to use. Go to start.spring.io called Spring Initializer and add starters and yes, uh, things start working. But the aim of this course is to make you understand how Spring Boot works behind the scenes. So I hope this 
series is going to be very useful for you and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.